Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev. Welcome on back to the Beginner's Guide for Cyrus New Dawn, updated for 2022. In this episode, we are going to be covering the large radar dish, and it is huge. It's something you definitely want to build, going to help you find all those minerals. Then, we're going to take and build our deep terrain drill. We're going to make an electronic dome for it, and a few little bits and bobs here and there so you guys definitely want to tune in hit that like button subscribe to the channel share on social media help my channel out as always let's get some all right first up on the to-do list today is we're gonna go put a large radar dish in you may be asking why don't you just put that by your base because the uh, large or the small dish that we have basically is going to cover what we need in this area, right? So, make my life easier, putting one here, I think is going to be one of the better spots because it's going to give me an idea of where, you know, in general, most things are. So... That's the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to drive down there and do that. They have a comment about how horrible this buggy sounds. And I do agree. It does sound like crap. Although, I mean, electric engines really don't make any noise. So, it's... I don't know if they could come up with something. Maybe put a little more bass into it. I don't know. But, after this, we're going to go put the deep terrain drill in. And there are a few things to keep in mind when you do that. Um, oh, oh, hey, a satellite. Whoop, hold on. So, a few things to keep in mind with the deep terrain drill. Um, wherever you put it, Whatever the closest mineral is, is probably going to be the majority of what you get. So that'll be the highest one. And currently, with the way we're going through things and what I think we're going to be building, I could be wrong, but I am thinking that I'm going to need aluminum more than anything else. And I'm sorry for you uh, guys over there in the EU. I know you pronounce it completely different than we do. Uh, aluminum, something like that. <laughs> It's all good. But, you always want to grab these. Now, the barrels aren't so good, but the chips, ooh yeah, those things are spendy. Hopefully we'll get a chunk of wire if we're lucky. Hey, look at that. Because now, all it takes is wire and the broken chips to make good chips. Um, in our little crafting board, not board, but crafting tool, little table that we first did. Okay, tell you right now, nope, just drop that crap. And I don't need any of that either. I got plenty of that. Maybe asking, hey, what's this? All this extra space? That's because I built the storage unit. And I will have a episode coming up where we go through and we uh, build and test out everything. And you can damage your vehicles, so you do want to every once in a while take a look at them. But, okay. So the other thing that you may want to do, of course, we've got our uh, so rover down there we can make. But, out and out, the best terrain vehicle, which we might make in the next episode, um, is going to be the hover bike. That thing can go any and everywhere. It's just a gas guzzler. And that is something, of course, that you can control yourself. Oh, jeez. Really? They get high-centered that easy?
Oh, there we go. So you jump out, you jump back in, and it fixed itself. Awesome possum. Oh, this is going to take us over to that other base. All right. Of course, it's fine. There's another buggy. And if you are looking for chlorine gas, this is a good spot. We are in the worm graveyard. That's silver. What is that? It is silver. It's another one I go through a lot of. Did you guys hear that? So, supposedly, the way some of the bugs work um, is that they can hear you smashing things, right? All right, so, I think we're in a good spot. Okay. Also a good way to get a good chunk of engineering points. I'm not going to pass up on this, so... Just like gold, it's a major component that you use in just about everything. So, so many other things you need to keep in mind with the deep terrain drill. You don't want to build it too close to your base unless you want a lot of bugs. Because the sound of it is supposed to attract bugs like magnets. Now, I've tried it on this planet and on the frozen planet, Azeal. And it did. Although, when I did that, uh, that was last year and boy, those bugs were buggy. So, we might try it again just to see if they've gotten uh, some of those things fixed. But, my second marker, that is where I was figuring I would put the terrain drill. Because the majority of what I'm going to probably need right now is, uh, like I was saying before, aluminum. And the spot that's over here by where we're at, where we're going, it's got just a bunch of stuff around it. So hopefully it's going to be a good spot. I've dropped them in the middle of nowhere, and you still get stuff. question is, you know, how far do you want to go out to uh, get it? And if you're doing multiplayer, well, that depends on, you know, you got to think about people just sitting there waiting for you to go get your supplies because we're going to put a force field around it. Now this force field we're going to use, you can put it on your base if you want. Works real well. Um, when it comes to the base though, I'd almost recommend, actually I do recommend the second, not this first one. Right? So, utilities, no, defense. So, the Z shield is a about almost twice the size, so I would go with the Z-Shield if you're going to want to do that, but you're going to need Zircon, and Zircon you can only get on the other planets. Uh, it was on a Zeal, but you never know what the devs, if they have decided to put it in different spots. We'll find out. We're going to hit all the planets and do all kinds of things. All right, I think we'll go on foot from here. Remember, never keep things in your hand when you're running around because it slows you down. But it's all good. And change the view if you want. I always forget that because I really don't use it very much because it's very jarring. The um, I almost prefer this game in um, first person mode most of the time. But it's up to you how you want to run those. Oh, hello, buggy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Devs, what's up with that, man? So I don't know if, I would assume that's back end not loading real well. All right, so yeah, this area is covered in these suckers. Uh, 
I don't like bugs. Ugh. That's the medium adult size. Put that gun away. You can see the difference in our speed pickup. Alright. Alright, so in general, this is where I wanted to put this next one. But, wow, look at the size of the, that first one we put in. That's bigger than anything, and that's going to tell us, eh, look at that. That's what I was talking about. See this? Now, we will have an incredibly easy time to do the things that we need to do next. So, gathering resources is a huge part of the game. But yeah, so right here, right Start pulling all the various stuff around here. The low density is what I'm looking at. Aluminum right here. So we just got to decide down here where we want to put this. Okay. I would suggest building the defenses first. Now, to make these work... You need to make sure that you bring a small solar panel. Then all you gotta do is walk up, turn it on, there we go. We're safe, nothing can get to us. And now... Yes! I did have enough of everything. <laughs> I was worried. We got down to one battery. Damn! We build this beast. That is really annoying. All right, we'll put that in place. That's a bug they need to fix. So, the deep train drill. Now, it does take a bit, so you gotta switch it on. Drilling core shaft. And we are getting a little bit low on meat, so this is a great way. We get some chow. Uh oh, uh oh. But can you guys only find one path? Hello? Uh. His leg is through. Should your leg be through? Okay, so... Hello. Hold on a second. We'll let this thing get all the way full up and we'll see what kind of buggy bugs we get. So hold on a second here. Yeah? Alright, folks. As you can see, we have a lot of visitors. And one of them is almost pushing his way all the way through. Now, you do want to be careful. See them spitting? And when they come through like this, just the littlest bit that does come through, it will hurt you. It will jack you up. And if you step out...
funny part is this really does put a hard press to the game and its uh, ability to render, as you can see. There's more and more crap coming in. So the white ones, those are kids. That's an adult right there. That's an adult. Those are, I think, adults, mostly. I'm wondering why I'm slaughtering these things so easily. I have all the upgrades for the weapon. Somebody else moving around here? Ugh. Then, what is this? This is, um, oh, Minotaur, I see. Just saying, I need me a bunch of meat. So, kind of killed two birds with one stone here. Oh, they look almost. There's a baby. The other good part about doing this is, ooh, what is this? Skeleton, huh? Is that they will, um, yeah, they disappear once you, uh, oh, hey. Oh, God. Once you, uh, Oh, see this? Hey, hey, you're not supposed to be able to come through here, mister. Stick your head in again. I warned you. Now, you can't shoot through it. You have to shoot at the limbs that are inside. Ooh. At the limbs that are inside. Ugh. Jesus. What the hell? Oh, look, there's some of those other... Uh, it's like everybody's here now. Whoa. Oh, hey, something hit me. Nothing should be able to get me. But like I said, you gotta watch how close you get. part's going to be, because if you build those too close to your base, I mean, all of that crap's going to come through, and they're going to do whatever they can to get to you. But uh, it's going to increase the amount of these guys on here. Now, in the other save that I have, after a while, they stop coming. So it's kind of weird. But... 
we'll stop here today. Next episode, I've got some good ideas, a little bit different here. Like I said, currently we are about gathering resources and security. So, we'll follow that theme on the next episode. We'll start maybe making some robots. As always, it's up to you guys. You hit that like button, subscribe to the old channel, share on social media, help me out. I appreciate it. Still nothing here, though. But, if I would have built that thing here, we would be overrun with bugs now. So, tune in next time. See what it does. See how well it does. Keep your heads down. Your guns up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.